Okay, first grade, once, uh, once you're done with your practice sheets, uh, we're actually gonna take what we learned from these and we're gonna start working on our Anurvasan landscape. So a few weeks back, we drew our foreground, which was the ground that is closest to us, the ground that we can walk to. We did our middle ground, and the middle ground is in the middle, and it's usually something that we have to walk a ways to. Uh, and then the background is going to be the sky, and that's far, far away. You'd have to go ahead and get in a car or a bike or a plane to get to. So we have three different sections of our landscape. We want to start with the easiest one today, even though we know how to paint with yarn. It's still best now that we actually have shapes and things to go around to start with the simplest thing. So we are going to go ahead and start with the foreground. Uh, it's either straight, curved, or a double hill. And your choices would be to do horizontal lines, vertical straight lines, or you could do the shape inside of a shape. If you're watching this video, you are picking straight lines. So you are either going to do vertical lines all the way across, or you're going to do horizontal. The fun part is, is for this part of the project, you get to pick your two colors. So you need to pick two colors for your foreground. My colors are gonna be a little bit more literal uh, for grass and I'm going to use green and yellow. You could use any of the colors. You could do orange and pink. You could do purple and blue. It, the colors are up to you but only pick two colors and remember just grab two of one of your colors and two of your other. That way you don't have this huge pile that other people can't use. After you use these you can go ahead and you can get more. So just like the practices we will get our paintbrush full of glue. So we dip, dip, just the tip. If it's dripping, you spin the brush so it doesn't drip. And we're going to start on the left, just like we would do if we were reading. And we'll work our way to the right. So just like our practices, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do two brush lengths of glue. I'll put my brush on our paper. I'm going to start with yellow. Now, I want to go ahead and I don't want to go past my hill or my land. So I'm going to have a lot of extra after this, which is really good because I will actually be able to use this extra yarn on my project. So remember, your two options are you can cut this extra piece off by putting it all the way into the scissors and cutting it makes it a lot easier. Cutting it at the very tip is a little bit harder. Or you can glue it on top of itself uh, if you're not able to cut it. I'm going to cut it because I really want to use this yarn and I don't want to waste it. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut it. And I'll put it off to the side and because this has glue on it I can grab my next color and we're doing our two color pattern when it's on the glue I'm gonna hold one two three four five make sure it's down nice and tight and again I I want to start where the hill is and then the extra can get cut off And I want to keep going all the way until I finish this off. So it's still pretty wet. Again, I'm starting where my hill is. And I'm letting the extra hang off the edge. One, two, three, four, five. So my pieces will keep getting longer and longer and longer. And then once I hit the middle, they'll get shorter, shorter, shorter. When you cut this, if all of a sudden you start getting really small pieces and it starts breaking up into small chunks, nobody can use this, so you can go ahead and you can just recycle that. If you have leftover pieces that are still usable, 
you can go ahead and put them back in our container. Okay, first grade, uh, once you have taken all of your yarn and you've gone from the left to the right, uh, just double check, make sure you have no big missing gaps. Uh, we wanna keep the yarn as close as possible. Uh, once you've completed the foreground, the next video will be showing you how to do our background and then we'll do our small detailed things on the very last video. Great job today. Good luck on the next video.